Hello friends and welcome to A Shot of Code. Today we're going to be looking at NPM Link. Now NPM Link helps our workflow when we have a NPM package that we're using within an application that we're building and we're making updates to this package. Now without NPM Link you'd have to do a publish of the package each time you make an update no matter how big or small. Um, you might, you, yeah, you probably need to push it to GitHub, uh, publish it to NPM, then go into your application and do an NPM upgrade. Uh, and that process is obviously quite uh, tedious and cumbersome. So NPM link is um, coming to save us. Now, I've got Visual Studio open here. Um, let's jump in and have a look at an example. Okay, so down the bottom here, I've got uh, our npm package that we're going to be using within our application. It's literally just got one function in here, do something, uh, and then exports that out. Um, and then up the top here, we've got um, our application where we're using the simple package, and we're just requiring that in and calling the method. So let's have a look at what you'd have to do without npm link. So in here, I would I would look at my current status. Start, okay, that's good. That's clean. Um, we would do an npm publish and set it to public in this case. Um, okay, so we've got that version there. So we'd have to do an npm version patch, get it to 0 0.0.8, 0 0.8, um, and then we could do our publish again. And then once that's up we could come into our application that's using this. Um, let's have a look at what we've got at the moment in here. At the moment we've got uh, 0 .0 0.0.7, so let's say that should be allowed to be upgraded, and we would do npm upgrade, and that hopefully will bring us in the latest package. So I think, I think it has, um, and then we would be able to use that package. So we could do node, um, what is it, index.js here. Um, cannot find module index.js. Why would that be? Node index.js? No, cannot find index.js oh it's main.js that is right node main.js okay and that is outputting our um, did something new which is this console log from our package so okay that's fine you know that's okay so I guess and then oh I need to make another update okay so I, I make the update here um, I come in and say I just I thought oh, I, I could I could just publish it so if you access public there what's that going to say it's going to say no you need a new version okay I need a new version so npm version patch what's that going to say no you need a clean repository okay so let's get our change added hit add commit uh, new again and git push so we've got to do all the, the git process to enable us to do npm version patch once that is up now we can do npm version patch and then we can do npm publish and try and push that up that's missed those two there and that that should get us version 9 up where we just changed our console.log um, and then here we can do npm upgrade and that should pull in our new index in here um, which it has not let's do an npm install shot of code simple and it's still pulling 0.0.7 so let me change my package here say oh that had actually just got the specific version in there 
So let's do an install. We should get 0.0.9. If we look in simple here, we've got this again added, which was we added on 0.0.9. Okay, so that is the process, and you've got to do that every time you make a, an update to your package here. Um, okay, let's have a look now with npm link. So what we can do in our package, we can simply say npm link. Now, what this will do is create a shortcut to this folder in the npm global modules folder. Um, so we can see it's saying where that is here and where it's pointing to. Uh, if I look within that folder now, um, so mine is in updated Romy and PM, a shorter code, and you can see there's a shortcut here to the simple project. And there are our files in there. So that's got it into the global. Now from our application, we can then do npm link and specify a shot of code and simple. And this will actually, let me do that with um, a save on there. This will actually provide a link now, a shortcut again, to that folder in the global folder, in the node modules global, which then points to our local folder again down here. So let's have a look at what we've got. Um, so Actually, I probably wanted to uninstall it first, just to keep it clean there. So let's take that out from npm there. So we haven't got it installed. Um, and let's remove node, node modules. OK, just so we've got a, a clean slate here, um, so we can see exactly what it, what it does. So now let's do our... Um, npm link again and see what it does for us. Um, so it creates a node modules folder and in there it's got our package present. Now nothing's happened to our package.json and that's that's because yeah it's not going to add a dependency here it's actually just going to add for us a shortcut folder so anything that happens now in our application folder will appear here so I can come into our app and say okay let's add a readme.md and then say um, simple library in there and save that off now if I come up into our app and look in this folder and refresh it you can see that readme has appeared automatically um, so anything that happens in our npm package down here is automatically reflected in our project and we haven't had to do an in npm install an npm upgrade we haven't had to do an npm publish down here um, and in fact you can actually then start doing your development actually in the application so i can now i can just get rid of this um, completely and i can start doing my development in here, so again, let's put um, and once more, and so I save that off now. So this is in the using. Um, so any changes I make here are now going to automatically appear in the um, in the package itself. So let's go back up into simple and bring that back up. If I maximize that, we should see an index.js and once more. So we don't even need to make the changes in our package. We can make them to the package in our app and they're all automatically um, um, performed in the, the, um, the NPM package. Um, so there you go. Just uh, an overview there of NPM link. Very useful for your workflow when you've got this situation of um, a package you're using in an application. Uh, hope that was good. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down if you think it was rubbish. Um, click that subscribe if you want to see some more in the future. And thanks very much for watching. See you next time. Bye.